Hello, Jamie here again. We're going to work on the hybrid salvage today. And I'm going to show you a hack that our friend Elaine figured out. Sorry, still reaching in front of the camera. But that's not the important part. Okay, here's the important part. We're going to stop knitting. This is, whoops, I forgot. Did I tell you that this hybrid salvage is a combination of the in-out-in salvage and Wana salvage? Okay. So I'm going to change needles or change to project yarn right over here on needle number one. Now I want both yarns to knit right there. And I also want to keep my heel spring engaged so when the, because that's the way I knit. I, when the first needle knits, I'm going to go ahead and engage the heel spring and I'm going to knit three quarters of a row. Then I'm going to set the ribber down into the machine. Okay. And I'm going to Bring that forward, bring that forward, and it looks like today we're working on the short slots. So over here at needle number one, I'm going to go fishing and grab that bar of yarn that was between the two needles since we cast on with every other needle. And I'm trying to do this quickly so you don't have to get bored watching me install these river needles. But I can't get to the important part without taking the time to do this. And as my yarn river arm gets in the way, I'm gonna crank forward. Oops, I'm in the out position. We gotta switch that back over to the in position. Good thing I caught that. Hopefully I caught it in time. Now, it's kind of tricky sometimes on any machine to switch from the in and to the out position because they're, um, the river needles, if they're in the path of the weight that goes in and out, then they can get stuck and make it hard to switch it to the in position or to the out position. And I'm going to show you today how to avoid that. Works great on the true knit and it works on other machines as well. All right. I want to knit this first row. Okay. Now, why are you not knitting? I don't have you all the way in the in position. If it's not all the way in the end, now I've tightened it so much I can't get it undone. Undo it, Jeff. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. So I'm going to hold that in the end position and start to knit. And that keeps it, it makes it to where it doesn't get stuck like that. Because if it's not all the way in the in position or all the way in the out position, you can't knit forward. Maybe you've already discovered that. It won't knit halfway. No, it won't knit if that's not in, if that's halfway, it won't knit. Okay, as I come around, I'm gonna keep cranking forward. Okay, and I'm going to install the rest of these needles. Now you'll be able to see how I do it a little better from this angle without my hand blocking you so much. There's another way to do this and I'll address that. And the other thing I wanted to tell you too is if you can't see the yarn, you just pull out that needle and you can see it just fine. I don't usually have that problem. The other way to do it is to set the needle in, then lift the yarn onto the bar. But you guys know me, I'm looking for the least possible steps to get the job done. So I always just take the needle and go fishing. Now, 
I make this look easy because I do it all the time and I have lots and lots of practice. Don't forget that, okay? All right, now, all my rubber needles are in position and that is gonna create a salvage edge and that would be Juana's salvage. But we're gonna take and we're gonna combine Juana's salvage with the in out in. Now, as this needle starts to come out, okay, it just started to come out, I'm going to switch it to the out position You've got to unscrew it the proper direction, mm -hmm. and then it works really well. So I'm going to switch it to the out position. Now you can see that this one is going to be out as well, but what I want you to see is that I'm holding it in the out position until the, the needles knit, and then I tighten it down. Now I'm going to knit two rows, and then I'm going to come around here, and when I think that I get to the same spot when this needle is going to come out, I'm going to loosen that up and I'm going to switch it to the end position. And then as soon as those needles start knitting, I tighten it down. And there you have the salvage edge. Now, if you give me just a minute, I will knit a few rows. And this is a 1-1 one, one rib. Of course, I dropped my scissors on the floor, so let me grab them. Let's take it off. Then we're going to take a look at this salvage. Because I think you're really going to like it. Oh, I still have a piece of yarn caught up in there. But it doesn't matter. I'll just cut it off. So you can see how nice that salvage edge looks. Now what I like about this salvage edge, that after you wash and dry it, okay, I'm gonna cut there, and I'm gonna cut the stitch right above it. Go right here, cut the stitch right above it. Okay, I'm gonna pull my tail with any luck. Oh, it did it. Okay, now in my haste, I think on this other side, I have one that I, the latch wasn't open, but that is what that salvage edge looks like. Stretch it out and it still looks really nice. 